Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about three of our systems in the Atlantic Basin. So we have what is now Tropical Depression 18, expected to become Tropical Storm Sam and to move and extend to Hurricane, as well as the remnants of Odette, which could regenerate. And we also have that newly highlighted area just off Africa, where we could have some development taking place. And this is actually quite Concerning. So we're going to look at all these in detail and so before I do so Alright, so let's get start things with Odette's remnants. So as of right now, they are located out in the North Atlantic and there is a 60% chance that we could have development or redevelopment, I should say, of a tropical or subtropical cyclone. And so now let's take a look at that new disturbance. So there is a 20% chance that we could have development of a tropical cyclone in this region. And this is a new disturbance and we're expecting that a wave is going to be making its way off Africa probably over the weekend and by next week we could see this developing into a tropical cyclone and so our models have been showing this we have the GFS and year models that are showing uh, this system here developing and we're going to see what they're really anticipating from this especially tropical depression 18 which is expected to become SAM so let's move on to that right about now and so taking a look at the Depression 18, we're seeing here that it is not very, very organized, but we're definitely seeing a bit of circulation going on with it. So as time goes by, it is expected to gradually become better and better organized. And eventually we will have this becoming a tropical storm. We'll probably do so by later today. And strengthening is anticipated during the next couple of days for this system here. And so let's take a look at the cone forecast from the National hurricane center for this system and so we're seeing here that the depression currently has winds of 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west at 15 miles per hour and so we're seeing here that probably by late saturday this is expected to become a hurricane and by the early part of the new week a major hurricane so we're expecting just intensification during the next couple of days which is a little concerning so even though we're seeing here that the cone is keeping the system a bit out of the way of the Caribbean, this cannot be the final judgment because things tend to change a lot. Sometimes we see where tracks uh, dramatically change within just a couple of days. And so we have the Euro model showing something very concerning with this system, as well as what could also uh, emerge off Africa and develop. So we're going to take a look at that very shortly. But for the most part, Depression 18 is expected to strengthen during the next couple of days and eventually become a major hurricane. And if it does so, it will become the fourth major hurricane of the season and so let's take a look at what our models are expecting in terms of the intensity guidance so we have quite a bit available and so all agree that we will definitely have depression 18 becoming tropical storm sam and we have majority of that number expecting that this will become a category 3 hurricane we have two expecting a cat 4 which is not impossible whatsoever because conditions ahead of it look very very conducive to enable some rapid intensification of the system so let's go ahead and take a look at conditions now and so first up is the wind shear map and so the different colors indicate the intensity or the favorability of the shear we have the green that means favorable shear the yellow that means neutral and the red that means unfavorable so let's look in the vicinity of depression 18 take a look at that a highly favorable environment in terms of the shear is ahead of the disturbance so what is going to be making its way westward and eventually to the west northwest we're definitely going to have intensification taking place because the shear is a very significant factor when it comes on to our tropical cyclones developing because whenever you have unfavorable shear, that is when the thunderstorms in the systems are cut off and they really don't develop much. So once you don't have much of that interference with our systems, then there is going to be that room for the systems to intensify. The next condition is the sea surface temperatures. And as you can see on this map, Sea surface temperatures are very, very warm to support 
depression 18 to eventually intensify and it's going to really be like this for most of the rest of the hurricane season for the main development region and so finally let's take a look at the saharan air layer map so whenever you see those light yellow shades that means that it isn't a whole lot of dust not too impactful but as we head towards the dark orange the red that indicates very dense dust and we don't have intensification taking place in such hostile conditions because of course dry air inhibits moisture which is what our tropical cyclones need in order to develop and intensify so without that we won't have any development of our systems and so taking a look at depression 18 we're seeing here that it is not in a region that has a lot of unfavorable saharan dust either so we do have some being present in the vicinity of the storm but it is not going to be too impactful on it as it's going to be making its way westward and so guys now let us go ahead and see what our models are anticipating so first up we have the euro modeling so this is a map that is showing the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and when you see them being very close with the pressure below 10 13 millibars in a circular manner that could indicate a tropical cyclone so that's what we're looking for here and the t more tightly packed you see those isobars uh, when that gradient is very steep that is when we have a significant cyclone so this is by monday the 27th of the month and so we have euro showing that we're going to have the storm possibly a strong tropical storm be into the west of the windward islands and so let's go further out to thursday the 30th of the month so take a look at this we have the euro model showing that this is going to be impacting parts of the lesser antilles so the leeward islands are likely to feel impacts from this and as we head further out we see that the model takes this being very close to the bahamas paralleling uh, the outer islands there so that is something very very interesting and take a look at how tightly packed the isobars are that indicates that that is a very very significant hurricane at that point and also the story isn't over just behind it it seems as though we have a cyclone probably taking a similar path so again this is just a prediction that is anticipated from euro but it doesn't have to be the outcome that takes place but euro has been hinting towards this for quite a while there haven't been much changes so we definitely have to watch this and so now let's go ahead and take a look at the gfs model and so this is by monday the 27th of the month and so we have it showing a 959 millibar low pressure system that is definitely a major hurricane at that point with that kind of low pressure so probably category 3 hurricane and so let's see what happens and so gfs is showing something different than what euro is showing by the 30th of the month we have gfs showing that it is going to be making its way curving out to sea somewhat similar to what the current expected track from the national hurricane center is showing and then just to the south of the Cabo Verde Islands, there we have a 1,002 millibar low pressure system developing. That is the new disturbance that we talked about earlier that we have the GFS showing here. And then going to Saturday, the 2nd of October, here we have a GFS showing that the system has gotten stronger, 954 millibars and also bigger. So it is showing that it is going to be remaining out to sea. And so we see some variation in what our two major models are anticipating from this. We have the euro being consistent that parts of the Caribbean, specifically the northeastern Caribbean, will be impacted by uh, what is currently Depression 18 expected to become major Hurricane Sam. And... Uh, that is quite concerning but on the other hand gfs is showing that the system is going to be making a close approach but not going to be making landfall and so guys we have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome in terms of our system here and uh, I will keep you updated of course as time goes by and so that is it for this update video on the tropics and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be with wise and have a wonderful rest of the day